I would like to talk about Indian media bias. I'll take the case of inter-religious marriages. All you folks know about uh, Mr. Rizwan Rahman, the guy who married a girl, Priyanka, in Kolkata, West Bengal. And after a while, he committed suicide because of some pressures, family pressures, something. But the whole media wound manufactured conspiracy theories for almost six months, blaming the police, the cops and uh, Mr. Rizwanur Rahman's uh, father-in-law. They made demons out of him. They victimized, demonized those police and his father-in-law. And also Hinduism indirectly, b- blaming Hinduism indirectly for whole six months. It's a front page news and headline news in print and television media. Now let me take an another case. Here a Hindu man marries a Muslim girl. Mr. Sailendra Prasad from Bihar and uh, Munira Bhibi from uh, Lakshanpur, Murshidabad district, West Bengal, both met in Mumbai. They fell in love and uh, well, after a while they vis- uh, Mr. Sailendra Prasad visits his father-in-law in West Bengal and his father-in-law becomes suspicious because he is a Hindu and they conduct uh, some kangaroo court in the village and uh, uh, orders to behead Mr. Silent the Prasad because he was a Hindu married to a Muslim girl and the orders were carried out. After a, after a while his head was found in a gunny bag in some farmlands. Let me take another case of a Hindu marrying a Muslim girl. Mr. Arka Benerji uh, met his wife Sultana and uh, they both got married but Sultana's parents were against their marriage. And uh, so th- Mr. Arka Benerji moved to another town uh, with his wife. After a while Sultana's parents came and kidnapped his wife or their daughter and took back to their home and Mr. Orka Manji tried to visit his wife at uh, his father-in-law's place but uh, he was uh, kicked off a couple of times and last time he went to he they poured some kiros in him and burned him and now he's fighting for his life in the hospital. Now you see the bias of Indian media. In the first case of Rizwanur Rahman, he committed suicide, but uh, the media, the television and print media, blamed uh, his father in law, the cops, and indirectly Hinduism demonizing for whole six months. Whereas in other two cases, as, as I shown, the Hindus were killed because they were married to Muslim girls, but it never made it to headlines or front page of uh, news media, television media. Why? Obviously points to some kind of uh, uh, agenda bias in Indian media. They like to demonize uh, or show Hinduism negative light but uh, when it is minorities they try to hush everything up. Hush.